Blackberries are a favorite in Oklahoma, and joining us is Becky Carroll, who is a senior agriculturist who's doing research on our blackberries out here. Can you tell us what you're finding? Well, we've got a lot going on this year. Um, we've got some some diseases showing up a little bit because of our cool, wet spring. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of moisture. So some of these spots that you might find on the, the floor canes or the fruiting part, um, kind of purplish or gray spots, those are anthracnose. Fungicide applications will take care of that. Okay. Um, we've also seen um, some leaf cupping on some of, some of our primocane or the, the new canes that are coming up. And um, so there's a picture or there's a example right here and and a few of the leaves are curling on the edges. And we're, just today, uh, we had those identified as, as caused by broad mites, which is a brand new pest for blackberries here in Oklahoma. Uh, they've been finding them in Arkansas over the last couple of years, but this is the first time we've seen them in Oklahoma. So um, we're not exactly sure how we're gonna actually recommend control yet, but we're working on that. And uh, if anybody's having problems with leaves that are, are cupping upward, mm -hmm. that's probably what they're seeing. And, and I'd love to know if there's pockets or locations where they're finding leaves like that. So we're kind of looking for yeah. that now mm -hmm. in Oklahoma. Um, and there's other insects that we've been dealing with. Right. In the past, you know, blackberries have pretty much been an organically grown crop. You didn't have to worry about spraying too much unless it's anthracnose. I or, used to go pick wild yeah, blackberries yeah, all if, the time. If you pick them in, in the wild in the pasture or along the roadsides, uh, you can still do that. You just may get a little extra protein with <laughs> some of your um, berry collections. So what is it that's in some of these berries? That... It's called uh, SWD or spotted wing drosophila mm -hmm. and it's a, a type of fruit fly that infects really nice berries. Usually fruit flies infect overripe or damaged fruit mm -hmm. and the SWD it will actually uh, slice into fresh nice berries and lay eggs inside so where we we never have had a problem with that unless you've had damaged fruit or over ripe or something with regular fruit flies this is affecting a lot of the the uh, good berries and all the monitoring that has been done in the last couple of years has been showing pretty high populations in most all of our Blackberries, especially. Okay. They it's like not going to harm fruits. you if you do it's not eat it. Harm and you, you won't even notice them. You don't see you, them, you right? You won't notice them that much. There may be a little bit of sunken area on some of the berries, but um, if you you may notice them if you put them in your refrigerator in a bag. They may like crawl out of the berries. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. it's it's not something you really want to think about. But mo more than likely, you're going to have them in your plantings or in your your canes if you're growing blackberries. So how can we prevent them from? Well, the, the best thing I would suggest would be plant a early ripening blackberry. The, the fly populations are a lot less early in the season. And as you get later, mm -hmm. the populations build up. They can have one life cycle in about a week or 10 days. It's, it's pretty quick turnover. Um, and so Early season, there's not as many, so you're not gonna have as many infected berries. Later season, have more. But uh, what we're recommending now is a weekly spray. When the berries start to color, when they start to turn blue, you're gonna want to, or even before they turn blue, start applying a weekly insecticide, Malathion, Mustang Max. There are a few organic options in Trust and Pyganic, mm -hmm. and they'll, most of them have a one day pre-harvest interval, so you can spray them 24 hours later, they're okay to eat. Um, some of the other options are three days, so you'd have to wait before you could eat those if you sprayed them with another option. Okay. So there are options where you can spray them and then and eat them the next day. All right, well, but, so we might wanna spray our homegrown yeah. blackberries. And it will be weekly through the end of harvest. Okay, thank you for sharing right. with us. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.